Hi guys and welcome in this new video. The goal of this video is to explain you what is a bracket orders and how to implement one using Python on TWS, so the interactive brokers platform. Again, this playlist is here to explain you how to automate your trading strategies, but if you don't have any trading strategies to automate and you want to learn how to create robust trading strategies, just take a look of the AlphaQuant program in description, you will find all the information you need. So let's switch directly into a Jupyter Notebook to explain very quickly the bracket orders because this video will be very, very quick. First of all, we import some libraries. We already know all these libraries. We connect ourselves to the AB API and then we need to explain only this code. So it's pretty straightforward. First of all, I will just explain a bit what is a bracket order. The bracket order is just a way to place a limit order with its take profit and its stop loss. But the disadvantage of this function is that it works only for the limit orders. So it's interesting to know it because sometimes you want to place limit orders. But in the next video, we will focus on doing the same thing for the market orders, but it will be much more complicated. So let's begin with that. So the bracket order will create not one order to fill, but several orders. One limit order with its take profit and its stop loss. And so you need a contract, a quantity, a limit price, a take profit price, and a stop loss price. So let's say for the Apple stock 230, then for the tech profit, as we take a buy position, it will be 240 and 220. Okay, it's hypothetical prices. Then I will just fill my bracket orders, my object of the IB InSeq library. So I need to give the way I want to take the trade. So here it's a buying position. I put the quantity, limit price, tech profit price, stop loss price. Okay, and at the end, I have that. So if I run this cell, I will not have anything. If I go into my TWS platform, I don't see anything, which is quite understandable because we explained in the previous video that we need absolutely to place the orders, to see them here on the orders tab. Because for now, we just have created an IB InSeq object, a bracket order from this library, and it doesn't help us a lot for now. So we see that into these bracket orders, we have three orders, two limit orders and one stop order. It means that we need to place them one by one. And so to do so, here I have used a loop to print them. So I will just remove the print and I will use the place order function that we have seen in the previous video. And if I run that, so here I just have a message because the marketplace is closed for now, but I can see that I have my buy order with two selling orders because the take profit and the stop loss are selling orders. We will close our position. And what is very important here to mention is that if I remove this order, order cancel, the two orders will be removed also. And that's the power of the bracket order. If you remove this one, you don't have to remove the take profit and the stop loss manually. Moreover, here, if you enter into this position and the take profit, for example, is touched, the stop loss order will be removed too. So that's very interesting. So that's all we needed to see into this video. In the next video, I will explain you how to console a trade directly using Python. If you have any question, any suggestion about this playlist, just feel free to drop it into the comments area and I will answer you as quick as possible and see you soon in the next video.